Hi everyone. Today I will be going over the new feature of auto creating unit of measure conversions when adding a packaging string. So what does this feature do? It provides the ability to define item specific interclass unit of measure conversions in a single step using packaging strings. And it also allows the item specific conversion to be auto created and stored in the manage unit of measure interclass conversion page. What is the business value? This feature benefits your business by improving efficiency by auto-creating item-specific intra-class unit of measure conversions. It decreases the superfluous navigation steps. It enhances governance by validating that the unit of measures are for the same unit of measure class. And it stores the conversions in a new table that acts as a stepping stone for additional future enhancements on validations and runtime processes. I will now be going into the demo for this new feature. Let me go ahead and demonstrate how to add a packaging string to an existing item. In this example, I have selected the item RXJY 17 milligram tablet. You can scroll down and head over to the packaging string section under unit of measure. From here, I will select a packaging string using the drop down menu. In this example, this shows that there will be 12 units in one card, five cards in one pack, and four packs in one carton. Once this is saved, Product Hub adds the unit of measure conversion to the database. The auto-created item-specific conversion will be available in the Manage Unit of Measure Intraclass Conversions page and will be read-only. In order to access that page, Go to Setup and Maintenance and type in Manage Units of Measure for Intraclass Conversion. Once you select that link, you can search for the item. This page shows a more detailed version of the packaging string of the item I had edited earlier. If you want to change the conversion, then you need to go back to the item and modify the packaging string. If you want to use the auto-create unit of measure conversions feature, then you must opt in to its parent feature, calculate runtime transaction unit of measure conversions with generated item data. Today, I went through the basic functions of item-specific intra-class unit of measure conversions and gave you an introduction of the new feature. For more details, you can consult the help documentation. This is the end of the demo. Thank you for watching.